Hey guys, Chris here, doing another flashlight review for y'all. This is the Phoenix E21. Now this flashlight is a great little flashlight. It's really, really hard to beat for the money, to be honest with you. I actually just received this not that long ago, but I have got some time on it, and I fell in love with it. Uh, while I still love all my other flashlights, this is my newest one, so it's obviously my little toy. Um, this is the E21. It, it runs a Cree LED. It has two modes of output, high and low. Very basic, but also pretty much idiot proof. One thing that drove me to this light and draws me to almost all of these wonderful little Phoenix lights is the fact that I can get them in two uh, AA batteries. It runs at two double A's. Granted, I'm not getting a ton of output, but I'm also not having to invest a ton of money into a 123 battery. Uh, it's waterproof, uh, just like the Phoenix LD20 is. Bam. Out to uh, one meter or two meters for I think one hour. It's that IPX-8 rating. It have, pushes out, like I said, 150 lumens. It has, it's the, the now, Phoenix claims that it uh, beam distance is 134 meters. I've tested that. Pretty close. I, I had it out on the street tonight, just giving a little test run. About 100 yards away, there was a stoplight, or a stop sign. Catching it reflective, no problem. No problem at all, especially with mist in the air, it's just a little bit harder to see what all I was identifying out that far, but I could catch the reflectiveness very easily of the stop sign. Um, it's impact resistant. The one thing I'm not a huge fan of is the runtime on this light is only 11 hours. That's on low. Uh, it will chew up batteries pretty quick, but you get what you pay for. Now the E on this 21, to me, that stands for economy. Now Phoenix lights, they're great, but you pay for what you get. You're going to pay $70 for a Phoenix LD20 or $60 for a Phoenix LD20, but you really get a ton, a ton of features from a strobe to an SOS to a high, medium, low to a turbo. Um, and not only that, you get 500 hours of runtime. With the Phoenix E21, not quite as much run time, not quite as many features, but $24 price tag, $25 price tag, mm, really, really hard to beat. Really, really hard to beat. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Um, as usual, Phoenix uh, flashlights coming with the lanyard, as well as a set of O-rings and a remove. Uh, replaceable tail cap switch I have these labeled up uh, this is for the Phoenix E21 I don't know if you can see that yeah there you go um, I have all of my Phoenix stuff and all my other flashlight stuff in the same bag so I, all my spare parts I keep those labeled together makes it a lot easier to find the Phoenix E21 tried it as an EDC light mmm wow it's heavy as an EDC light it's hard to pass when I've been carrying the stream like whoa, 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 easy easy about knock my moose sculpture over when I've been carrying this streamlight stylus pro around this looks like a huge huge flashlight much less this thing this thing is a beast compared to the streamlight stylus pro I went from this to this for two days that's not gonna work that is extremely that it's, it's it's entirely too big for me in my system to work it into my system and carry it as an EDC light. Uh, there are other outfits that I wear uh, occasionally that I can that I can work it in, and it, it'll work as an EDC light. But for what I get with this light, I could easily carry this light. I get more lumens. I get more runtime. I get a better light, but I paid double for it. The reason I got this light is more of a bedside light, or possibly a weapons light. 
it is nice and heavy it is the hard anodized aluminum I'm running double A rechargeable batteries in it I'm trying to see if we can save the world one battery at a time but I think I'm gonna keep this primarily as a back as a bedside uh, flashlight as well as possibly integrated into a weapons light system it might be a little bit big and heavy to to mount on a weapons system that I'm going to try to keep as light as possible but when I'm not concerned about weight and I'm concerned about sheer power ease of function and I mount this onto a weapon system and all I do is press depress the tail cap switch and there I am and that's on low and then I bump it over or I can just leave it bumped over and there's high I will roll in the specs for the run times as well as the lumens on the high and low into this video but this is a great light especially for the cost this is one of those ones that guys I'm gonna tell y'all if you've got the money go get the Phoenix LD20 if you're worried about the money get the Phoenix E21 you're gonna be happy with either one you're gonna be extremely happy with this LD20 but this E21 nice and heavy duty you feel the quality of the Phoenix lights the knurling is very similar to the LD20 which I didn't say in the LD20 video but the LD20 has nice knurling um, not overly grippy but I can still get my hands on it and I can turn the bezel fairly easily it will let me grip it fairly easily um, it's just a it's a, it's a good value light it's a very good value light if you're gonna spend $25 would you get this or this my question to you is what do you use your flashlight for the most if you use it for your bedside for something that's bump in the middle of the night you need to check it out I'm going with the Phoenix E21 you get more lumens you get a bigger heavier duty flashlight in case you have to use it as a striking weapon you get that option but not only that it's got a, a huge huge throw it the throw on this light dominates that light for 20 bucks I can get this for 20 for five more dollars I can get this Phoenix light for the I'd spend the five dollars more if I'm using it as a carry light every single day this is a flashlight is going into my pocket no matter where I go what I'm doing this flashlights going into my pocket it's going with me then I'm going with the Streamlight Stylus Pro it's just it's it's a lot lighter light it's much easier to go with um, as far as I can throw this in gym shorts and not notice it's there I threw this in gym shorts oh yeah I'm gonna believe you better believe I'm gonna know it's there now I haven't done the waterproof test on any of these flashlights I'm assuming they'll do what they say they'll do uh, I've seen I know all nothing fancy does his uh, water his his uh, waterproof testing maybe I'll get into that like him one day uh, I just don't have the time right now guys but for my money my advice I would definitely invest in the uh, Phoenix E21 it's just a great light for the money and running a Cree LED slated to last over 50,000 hours it will probably outlast you so whether you want it as a weapons light or an EDC light figure out a way to integrate the Phoenix E21 into your system y'all have a good day